Jacob, you know what day it is? Saturday is Friday. Friday. H Fat Days are Friday. I started rolling the camera a little late. Why don't you go ahead and tell the people what we what we found on this one? What was the reason for us being here and what did we figure out? So they had a no heat call. No heat call. So we came here and it was set to what was it? 77? It was set to 77. But it's only reading 72. And the thermostat was doing, it was just flashing heat on. It was just flashing heat on. So what you did was you took the yellow and the green and you took the red. You jumped from the yellow to the green to the red to make sure the heat will come on and make sure it worked. And that just shows it was a faulty thermostat not sending the full signal. All right. So this was the original thermostat. It's off the wall. It's got batteries in it off the wall for about five six minutes now and it's still flashing heat it's reading 69 now but set to 77 when I saw that I explained to Jacob that this is a heat pump it was wired with the O wire for the reversing valve and we are working on a train I've been to this apartment before so I, and I know there's a train on the roof of this building so the thermostat isn't going to send a call or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed that up. Me jumping out R to Y right here would only cut on the condenser. So to make sure that running it in the heat mode, which is only energizing R, Y, and G, that would allow me to get some heat coming out of this vent. If I would have energized O, that would have turned it on in cooling mode. But bypass, pretty much just bypass the thermostat. We know now we gotta replace it, so Jacob's gonna go ahead and put our trusted simple t721 pro two heat one cool thermostat let's do it we got the new thermostat installed this is owned by one of our like most prominent customers they give us a lot of work so i'm not even gonna bother putting a, our our tag on that therm on that magnet piece right there but set to 75 The heat strips are energized as well. We're looking at 104 coming out. We gonna say we good to go. I ain't have nothing when we first got here that got something now. Let's pack it up. All right, buddy. We had a no AC call. I'm gonna let you take the lead. Let's see what we get. Grand Air Solutions. She got a dog. I remember when I came here, when they first started renovating this, this unit was in terrible condition. I mean, piss poor. I don't know if they ever swapped it out or if we did, but I hope it ain't the same thing in there. There was roaches all in the insulation on the back of the unit, like on the panel. It was, and I ain't talking about no palmetto water bugs. I mean, them hood roaches. Palmetto. <laughs> Hello. So hey. Boss, how you doing? How's it going, man? Good. Yeah. Good. AC issues? Yeah. Sorry, it's a mess in here. Um, AC yesterday was running like all day, but couldn't get below like 82. Okay. Or well, it was like 80, but it got up to like 82. Okay. Where's the thermostat at? Uh, upstairs. Upstairs? I put them in the bedroom, but yeah, just in the middle living room area. So. I was wrong. I was thinking about a different uh, apartment that looks similar to this. Armstrong brand. Three ton. It does have a P-trap right there. Liquid line don't seem too warm. It's cold. Suction is cold though. I wonder if it's low. Let's see what Jacob finds. on the Concord. I think the last time I was out here was over a year ago. Yeah, coil's not terrible. So, 
What do you think? It's running right now. What do you think you should do? Does it feel like it's pulling heat out the top? Oh, that boy got his probes. You're missing two more things. The probes ain't working. Oh, damn, my batteries died. Oh, all right. Put yours away. We'll grab mine. You'll just connect to them on your phone. Yeah, we're going to use the clamps, too. Take that. Take that one. Come here. Get out of the side pocket. There we go. Turn them all on and connect to them. All right. So that's the Delta T. Those are your pressures, and it is set to R14A, so that's right. So we're looking at 2.2 subcooling, 15.9 supercooling. What we need, and the airside diagnostics isn't that far off either. So what we need to do is just correct, make sure, double check that the panel, because this brand comes with a, a pressure chart on it. We need to make sure that the pressures we're getting closely correspond to the temperatures that are outside and we are definitely out of the normal parameters of testing AC mode. We're going to try and get as close as we can. Hope the fan motor isn't pushing a whole lot of wind and messing up the recording. Ooh. Yeah, All right. So what's the temperature outside? The temperature outside right now is feels like 64. So look at the 65 one. Saturation tip. Charging temperatures and pressures. Oh, that's models. I was like, what the fuck is that? So, subcooling values. Oh, we're working on a three-ton outdoor temp outside temperature 65. Dang, it says the this is a three-ton, right? 36. Yep. So then we follow the 36 right there, the 65 right there. Where we should be looking at a 7.7 .7 degree of subcool. And go back to the engages. Subcooling is 2.3. So we are low. So we probably need to go grab the actual gauges now that we know there's a real problem and a tank of 410 and the scale Let's go ahead and do that so now we got the manifold out still pretty close to what we were reading we've already got the tank set up let's hear this again keeps on wiggling and you kind of want to crack this mm -hmm. and watch the refrigerant go in I go in normally quarter pound at a time that's what I was taught 0.5 each time? No, that's 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 half, son. Quarter. 0.25. You can do a half. You can do a half if you want. I, I so it's judging by that subcool, it seems fairly low. I wouldn't I don't see a problem going half a pound. Two five first. Two five first. That's fine. Give it a little bit. But you're learning. You're learning. That's the good thing. This is the first time I've had to add refrigerant to a system and that wasn't like a replacement of a part or something in probably like a month. Well, you did real good, sir. We got close, the subcool has been fluctuating about 6.57. Dropping a little bit now, but we're within like plus or minus two degrees of it. So we're cool there. Jacob ended up adding only one, just a little bit over a pound and a quarter. We're gonna go inside, verify Delta T, and we'll get up out of here. You did, don't, don't put it back on the condenser. You know, he yelled. That dude yelled at you last time. He might watch the video again and yell at you again. <laughs> that was, that was a funny comment to read. <laughs> go ahead, and get packing. We got more to do. It's Friday, boy. Well, Jacob found the possible reason for the leak took that hose off and it was spraying back a little bit hissing out so check these valve caps 
and of course they have no seal so you could have found the leak my boy you could have that one's real dirty and the other one is fairly clean it's good all right do you have the nylog though oh he got his nylog that's my boy you got caps too Oh, he got the bag on him. Look, I'm teaching him. I got caps over here. He got caps in him, too. We prepared. Just pulled up to our next service call. This one's a kind of a, a maintenance after we figure out why it's not working. They want us to service and clean it, but they also notif said that the system's just not working. So we're going to go in here and try to figure this out. I'm cleaning the unit today. Ah, uh, whatever, boy. Huh? I said, aha, uh -huh, whatever, boy. That means you gotta do all the indoor stuff. God dang, need some low ceilings. My God. All right, we'll start with that right there. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, heat to sixty-two, reading sixty-four. Let's just condenser cuts on. <laughs> That blower motor's not running. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. I was wrong. I'm not gonna divulge how I was wrong. I'm just gonna bet that the blower motor is tied into a sequencer. I'm not gonna. Know too much of it. That is. That's dirty, dirty. We're not gonna pull it, but we're gonna spray it as best we can and get this feeling clean dirty. Looking cleaner. So, you know which bottles you gotta grab, right? Yep. Alright, get it going. Just walked out here to the condenser, and oh my god. I'm probably gonna have to like snip these off. What the hell happened? I mean, that's all the way down to the copper. Shoot, it's crazy. We ain't that far in the hood. What's going on here?
look and see how Jacob got this top side of this coil. Looks pretty good over there. It's a lot better over there. That aluminum starting to go out there, but um, cool. I can live with that. Blow wheel is not even that dirty. How old is this system? No data plate. Let's look at the wrong one. 2019. Alright. It's time to get Delta T's. Um, it's already got a 90 facing down. You'll need a, a coupling, three-quarter coupling, and a three-quarter P-trap. They're in the black uh, bin in the back. So we're going to end up putting a P-trap on this. I thought this was a part of it. You know, kind of standing back, looking back here. I was like, okay, well, it would come this way. That's They made that as a vent. Go down there, but... They have a T-joint right there, 90s down there, to then go outside through a little chase right there and out into the opening by the condenser where I blasted water back up through. But this unit needs a P-trap or else we're going to have some serious drain issues. I can't believe this was installed in 2019 and nobody put a P-trap here. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in there now. So now... We know that we have a trap on the system. We'll go prime it from inside. I already did if you want to fill it up a little bit. I'm not massive. Don't say that on YouTube, sir. Yeah, you can. Oh, well, we'll just pour this all down there and then go walk out there. Oh, this thing is the truth. The truth. All right, empty that whole water bottle in there. Let me go outside. already see some dirt and stuff getting pushed out oh it's getting dirtier negative drains have to have a p-trap and you know it's a negative drain if the evap coil is on the intake side of the blower motor so pretty much every electric air handler that I've ever come across I don't know if there's positive oh wait no yeah the train the trains the newer trains the newer train systems are uh, are positive I think like the like the high-end communicating ones I think I can't remember it's been a while since I put in a train air handler um, but like all your split gas furnaces um, where the evap coil is on top of the furnace and it's blowing across it instead of pulling across it um, those ones are positive pressure and they don't to my knowledge they don't need one but I have ran into instances where the static pressure was so high or like just air pressure coming through the drain line was so high that I had to put a P-trap and it started draining properly. So I'm to the point now where every drain I come across, I'm more than likely gonna put a P-trap on it just to be safe. You did good, sir. You did the good. And then... Um, top fell, sorry. Bro, you lost the top. Was my Damn you. All right, dude. Let's pack up. The blower motor's back to not working. And I think I know why it was working the first time when we cut it on in heat mode. Um, oh, that's a dang spider scared the heck out of me. So to confirm what, I, what I'm going to think right now, go cut the, uh, cut the thermostat off, but cut the fan to on. I want to see what happens. Because right now it's just freezing. I mean, that, that whole pipe was frozen just a second ago. You cut it the fan on? I think the fan relay on the board is bad. But what happened in heat mode was that the heat strips also energized the blower motor. Like the sequencers do for a certain fan speed. If I'm correct. Some units do, some units don't. It could be controlled still through the fan relay on the board. But... 
that would explain why when we had it in heat mode and we bumped it up, the second stage heat kicked on the the heat strips and the heat strips sequencer kicked on the blower motor. Because that thing was running just like 40 something and 200 something. So let's see here. Hold this. Know the thermostat is making the call from R to G. Where's common? Common is blue. Should get 24 volts here. I have zero. Zero volts. Could be a thermostat issue, not the fan relay. All right, so if I use a jumper, right? Jumper from, oh my God, I was, I had the jump right the idea ground. where I was moving too fast. I was, <laughs> jump that bit the ground. <laughs> Whew, glad I caught myself. <coughs> I slow down, I was gonna slow down. Oh my God, all these wires up under these blue wires are getting replaced with orange after this. So from G, Now let me check from G to ground. They need to. One more kick right on. Now would you look at this? Somebody, whoever tried to install this flow switch or was servicing this last and wanted to eliminate this from their diagnosis, didn't even plug it back in. That's crazy. We're gonna plug it in now. This R to this. So now if the flow switch trips, it's gonna cut off power. Completely. Not just like a fan will keep running. So now we need to replace that thermostat. As we took off the back plate, the thermostat off the back plate, we noticed somebody had had R and G both tied into R. For some reason though, I mean, that should have been making the blower motor run all the time. Not only on the heat strips. You got it screw down tight? Yeah. All right, let's see if this works now. Still calling for fan on. Go cut it from fan on to auto, or back to auto.
Click it auto. All right, we'll wait for it to cut off. All right, now that now that it's off, <laughs> go ahead, cut it to cool. And there's the blower motor. Just a thermostat issue that whole time. Actually, not even a thermostat, just a wiring issue. Freaking goofballs. Quit, quit glazing me, no homo. I said quit glazing me, no homo. I ain't even got, I ain't even got 500 subscribers. I'm say to they will get this quality from APHVAC. They know you lying. <laughs> uh, all right, now we can put the panel on here. And in case if anybody was wondering if this would work out here, it, it most definitely does. I have a steady stream. Tried to zip tie it closer. We're going to trim those edges, get the ends off. But push it down a little bit more, it flows better. But I'm, I'm not worried about this. If it's doing this now, it'll be fine come summertime.